Hi everybody and welcome to today's LEGO Technic video. I'm very excited to present to you my latest project. It's a table tennis robot. Now of course LEGO Technic isn't my only hobby. I also play a little bit of table tennis. And of course one of the uh, table tennis robots. So the idea of a table tennis robot, of course ideally it would hit the ball back but it doesn't do that. It just simply launches balls towards you for you to practice your technique and hitting back the balls. So um, yes, I ended up uh, spending quite a bit of time building this project, it's about 1600 pieces and so today I'll be presenting to you and demonstrating this robot in action, so keep watching. Okay, so one of the most important parts of any table tennis robot is the launching mechanism, the ball launching mechanism and I um, ended up coming up with this design here, spent quite a bit of time trying out different combinations of you know, gearing and motors and wheels and I found this one ended up working quite well. So. The ball launch speed is of course determined by the speed at which these wheels rotate and to get the high speed I've used these uh, buggy motors, they're known for the very high speed. The um, RPM at this point uh, using you know, 9 to 10 volts is about 800 uh, revolutions per minute. I've geared that up uh, by 3 to 1 to get an overall speed here of about 3000 RPM. So if you divide 3000 by 60 it's about 50 revolutions per second. Um, and the diameter or the radius of this wheel that I've used I think is, uh, is 43 millimeters or about two and a half centimeters so if you multiply that out you get about a launch speed of about nine meters per second uh, at the fastest speed now a very good table tennis player can smash a ball at about 15 meters per second but of course for the kind of practice that you want to um, you know, practice with a robot yeah, the launch speeds need to be a lot less so anything from five to ten meters per second would be ideal and that's what this design is based on. So I've used, like I said, two uh, buggy motors and that's connected to a um, Booz uh, controller. Booz, uh, I think it's 3.0 I've got here, one of the latest ones. Uh, and that gives me a very nice launch speed. So I'll just demonstrate that in a minute. Okay, so in order to control the robot functions, I have built a very simple Booz app within the Booz application on an Android tablet. So these two right hand controllers control both of these uh, two launch motors. So the one on the left controls the top one. You can see that top wheel spinning very quickly. You can obviously go up to an incredible speed. Uh, about a good speed is about in the middle. Now I can also turn on the bottom one. And I've already got a ball ready sitting there. So I'll just launch that ball by gently pushing it forward. There it goes. That was the ball launch. So that's how it launches the balls, by simply having that ball there, being pushed forward and being fired out the end there. That was going at a very good speed. Now the reason I've used two motors to control each of these wheels is uh, for a really important concept in table tennis and that is a spin. So in table tennis when you've got a ball like this and you've got your bat, typically when you hit it, you tend to hit it like this and create spin on the ball. And when it spins forward like this, it's called top spin. And what that does, it makes the ball kind of um, spin forwards and then want to come down naturally so when it goes over the net so it comes down and make sure it goes on the table the other version of spin is called backspin is when you hit the ball from uh, underneath and you impart backspin like that and what that does it kind of makes the ball want to go up and because the gravity is also moving down at the same time so it tends to kind of float and when it bounces it kind of bounces has a low bounce and also the backspin when it hits your bat it tends to go straight downwards because it sort of grabs, grips the bat uh, that backspin and makes it go down so uh, it's a very important concept that was to face different types of spin uh, typically top spin is relatively easy to return but back spin is actually very difficult you typically have to push it back uh, and put back spin on back spin if you kind of just touch it with your bat it tends to go straight into the net and if you try to push it too hard it'll go off the end of the table so one important concept like i said is that spin so the robot can generate uh, different types of spin by having a different relative speed of the top wheel to the bottom wheel so if the top wheel is spinning more quickly what we get is top spin uh, and if the bottom wheel spins more quickly we'll end up with back spin the board kind of float so uh, that's the reason why i've got two separate motors and by setting the different speeds you can get different relative amounts of top and bottom spin or back spin Okay, so that was all about the ball launcher. Another important part is the launch tube, as I call it. So what I've got is kind of a, a tube mechanism where the balls wait to be launched out uh, out of the mechanism, uh, or the ball sitting in the ball basket at the top. And what I've got is kind of a tube where balls sit and then be pushed upwards by a mechanism. So what I've got here is a motor at the back, 
with a crankshaft and that crankshaft is connected to an axle and that kind of pushes each ball up the tube. Now the problem I've got that as the ball gets pushed upwards, it, uh, as soon as the axle goes back it kind of falls back again. So I've got another mechanism here that's synchronised with that one where another little axle comes out and just blocks that ball once it gets to the top. So once this one pushes across, I've got a wee axle coming out, just blocking it from falling backwards. Then this one can f uh, fall backwards and uh, another one will fall down from the basket to fill that space. And then they kind of get pushed along. So I'll just demonstrate how that works. So uh, again, I can start that motor down here with um, the Booz app and just start it. And we can see that it will push balls out the end of the launcher as they come down the basket. So I can drop them in the basket and the balls kind of get launched out the side. Now of course it's more exciting when you turn on the launch motors at the same time. So we'll turn them on and we'll pop some balls in the top. And turn on the feeder. And that will launch the ball. And again, the speed of launch or the number of launches per minute can be controlled simply by the speed of that uh, pushing mechanism. So uh, you can see that right there, you can probably launch about one ball a second or a bit more, uh, right down to you know going quite slowly, maybe one every two or three seconds. Okay, so that was all about the ball launch tube. Another important part is the ball basket. So here at the top, uh, it's quite hard to see, it's quite a tall model, but at the top there I've got a ball basket. That basket can hold uh, probably about 50 to 60 balls. Uh, and again, it's got a feeder mechanism just there. So as those balls uh, fall down the tube, new balls get fed in uh, just by a motor rotating that feed, feeder mechanism. So all the balls will eventually get pushed down that uh, ball tube uh, to be launched. So like I said in the game, that's an important part of the mechanism. Speed is not that important because as long as that tube's full, it'll just uh, keep uh, filling it up. Okay, and finally the other important aspect of this model is the launch angle. So depending on the type of ball you're trying to receive, either a high ball or a low flat ball, you want to adjust the angle of launch and I've got a motor down here controlling two linear actuators that uh, control the angle of that launch tube so i'll just demonstrate that so by changing the slider to the left we can move downwards to uh, almost zero degrees and in the other direction we can launch quite a steep angle of about 45 degrees so that will uh, allow you to give you a high ball and uh, practice your smashing Alright, so that summarizes all the functions of the table tennis robot. I'm excited to try it in practice and let's see how we go. Alright, I've got the robot all set up in the corner ready to go, so let's try it out. Turn on the launch motor, put your top spin and your bottom spin, and let's do it. Oh. Come on. tennis robot hope you liked it please like and subscribe and we'll see you next time thank you